So, my name is Merck Fab. Today I'm going to be making a start on uh, stripping the bike down and I just want to get it completely taken apart to the point where I've got a bare frame and I can make a pile of all the parts that I'm going to reuse, everything that I'm not going to reuse and then I can make a list of everything that I need to buy and then once I've got the bare frame sat there I'm going to make a uh, going to make a frame jig to build the new frame off of. Um, so I use this frame just as sort of a size guide. Nice. Okay, so um, I thought there was just going to be no bearing in the bottom, but the, uh, this is actually the correct bearing for the race in the frame, but there's no um, spacer on the bottom of here, so that was just flopping around, um, and that was why that uh, there was so much movement in the headstock. Uh, something else which I discovered which was really dangerous dangerous thing to uh, do is these brakes I'm guessing are off of something different and someone's made these homemade or they've cut up something to make the carrier bracket um, So this sits on your fork bolts and the only thing holding the caliper in one position is, is the torque on the bolts. So under heavy braking this is going to slip forward or back and if it does there's a good chance it's just going to jam itself into the disc and completely lock up the whole front wheel. So you can't have a caliper that can you know, be able to slide into a place where it's going to uh, jam itself into the disc. So that obviously can't go back on like that. Um, 
so we need to either make this this obviously needs to be a fixed bracket so even if even if these bolts did come loose the caliper can rattle but still still maintain its position and work um, so we need to uh, do something else with the brake um, but we can sort that out when the time comes something else I noticed about these triple clamps is they're actually they're designed with with some rake like um, machined into the clamp. A normal set of clamps, all these holes would be running parallel through the clamp, but this is always, this one, they're actually tilted back, so if you, you, you would get some extra rake on your, on your frame, by just installing this, you wouldn't actually have to uh, increase the angle on your head tube, because the clamps are effectively kind of doing it for you a little bit. If you look where that comes through the uh, bottom of the clamp there, and where it comes through the top, it's further up, so it's, it's raking the front forks forward, which is interesting, I've never seen that before. I'm still unsure whether I'm gonna use this front end or not, or whether I'll just look for something else. Let's carry on with the tear down. All right, so that's everything stripped down. This is all my wiring, which I can, uh, I'll be able to get rid of a lot of that. Tidy all that up. I had a bit of trouble getting the uh, engine out of the frame because it's got this on the front which I didn't want to take off because I hadn't drained the oil yet, but would have been a lot easier if I had just taken that off, but got it out anyway. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, I'm not gonna reuse the tank, I'm not gonna reuse the bars. I'm gonna try and reuse these, see what happens, see what else comes up. Obviously if it saves me re and stuff and you know, um, messing around with those brakes might be worth getting a, another, another front end. I'm gonna reuse the rear mud guard because that's a nice fit to the rear tire. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's it. All stripped down. So um, next stage is going to be to build a jig. Just using this for the rough dimensions. And uh, I'm going up to see Rob probably some point next week to get a load of materials and stuff. Uh, to build, not just to build the frame with, but to make all the jig and um, everything basically. So a bit of an update for the mongrel. Got the engine all cleaned up, ready to go in. Um, I've, I've sorted out renting a booth for a day or a couple of days to um, paint the outside. So um, I'm just gonna get everything else built up on it, get the engine in, everything bolted up. Um, and then do the sort of final paint last. Before I fit the engine, I've got two diffs here. The original one's got a limited slip diff in it, but it's a 3.6 ratio. I've got a 4.1 ratio diff here. So I need to swap the limited slip diff out of that into that casing. And then I can put the diff, engine, gearbox, because the MX-5's quite a weird setup where the uh, gearbox mount is this big bar which connects to the diff so it's all interlinked. So that'll probably be the next mongrel video will be me doing the diff, fitting the engine. Um, I'll show you what else has been going on. So, so remember these that I made? This is for the other side. They don't fit. Um, this bit here, this little bit here, fouls on this bit there. You can see where it's been scraping up and down. You can't really see because the camera's not picking it up, but. It basically, when you, when you wind it in and you want it on its full sort of inward position, it hits on here. So I notched out the other one. I notched it out, got it to fit, um, but these are way too overbuilt, and there are much. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna remake these, do a bit of a redesign. This ideally needs to sort of come out from about there, just and ideally on this side as well. So. It's the problem is having this big flat on the inside here. You know, a tubular setup would have been much better really, but so still lots to do on this. Um, but if I can get the engine in, diff in, everything bolted up and get all the, uh, all these like brace pieces all put back in, I can fit the full exhaust system. Um, I can do everything. Yeah, I'm looking forward to starting bolting bits on the inside. Um, I can get the seat and all the column, steering column and everything in, pedal assembly. That'll just make it easier for moving it around once all the steering's connected as well. So I should have an update on that soon. And then next video for the bike's gonna be building the jig. I think building the jig will be quite an interesting project in itself. I wanna make the jig something that's usable to make any kind of bike frame on so um, so that'll probably be some point next week so keep an eye out for that but it's gonna be it for this one cheers for watching see you on the next one